Hey, uh, welcome back to my channel, um, Toll for Talks, a uh, channel dedicated to, uh, I don't know, I guess me talking about some of the comics I've been reading and uh, uh, promote my, my Indiegogo. Um, today, we're going to have another sto quick story time um, from Weird Science, the EC Archives, um, from uh, this Dark Horse collection that just came out. Yeah, so <clears throat> this is a Harvey uh, Kurtzman story, and um, I think uh, it's the only Kurtzman art in the collection, so I thought it was, you know, maybe kind of special for that reason, and it's just uh, another one of those stories that it's, uh, I, I don't know, I find it interesting because of, uh, you know, I don't know, they're not really predicting the future exactly, but you know, there's kind of some contemporary um, interest when we get to the end of this one. <clears throat> um, so, I thought we'd take a, take a look at sounds from another world. Terror. That's what you see in this man's face. Pure, abject terror, for he is hearing sounds no other mortal man has ever heard. Inhuman sounds. Sounds like all the suffering and tortured agony of all the ages rolled into one. This is a story about Henry Sonatown and his invention that enabled him to hear the sounds from another world. So I don't know if they where Sonatown, Sonotown came from. I, I don't know, maybe Sonic and Town. I don't know. Sounds. But um, so it starts off with uh, Henry. He's uh, he's stopping. His neighbor, or maybe the the gardener from, um, you know, trimming the hedges. He's he says, "Sir, I must ask you not to clip that hedge, and if you will put up those shears for a moment, I'll tell you why." So, man, he's having uh, something's going on with uh, Henry. And we turn the page. We um, <clears throat> we kind of get a glimpse into what Henry's world has been like the last few days. And so his invention, um, he was hoping to hear, you know, other worlds. And he ends up, you know, seemingly successful. He hears beautiful music, beautiful sounds, sounds of, you know, harmony and peace. Until, horror of horrors. The clipping of tulips, man, and um, so he he he's not sure if that's what what these horrible sounds are coming from, but he he does an experiment. He tries it himself, and what do you know? That tulip is screaming out in pain, in agony, and I really like that panel. I think maybe we're doing this just for this panel. I like the, the screaming coming out of both sides of the headphones. He's getting it in stereo. Probably not stereo, probably mono, but you know. <clears throat> um, so he went to bed, he couldn't believe what he was hearing. Um, he wants to, he's doing some more tests. And uh, Sadly, it seems that what he's hearing is the pain and suffering of um, from the plant world. He gets a buddy. He's like, "Hey, you know, you need to help me. You need to help me confirm what I'm 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 coming up with here." He needs uh, he needs some confirmation, and. Anyway, he doesn't get it in the process of, um, you know, conducting this experiment with a colleague. He um, gets, a, you know, a tree is dropped on them <laughs> or part of a tree, you know, a large limb. So, you know, I guess the tree was fighting back and, um, you know, he demands that his uh, cohort bandage up the tree um, and uh, which seems a little crazy. Because, you know, maybe it is. And um, 
and we find out that that was a story, you know, from years ago. But since then, he has developed a technique to hear trees and flowers, even without a machine. I talk with them all day long. That is why you mustn't cut the hedges. You'll hurt them and they'll cry. Oh, professor. And, um, you know, one of the, the, his keepers of the sanitarium has to pull, drag him away. And uh, in the last panel, uh, Professor Sonatown says, meat. I will only eat meat. I am a meatitarian. I refuse to eat plants. They are my friends. And thus, this is probably the first, um, I don't know, maybe the lion diet's been around longer than I think, but this could be first reference to a, to a lion, diet, lion diet in our culture, uh, contemporary modern culture. Anyway, hey, thanks for checking in. And um, these weird science stories, um, I know the reviews on Amazon for it, you know, they're pretty mixed. A lot of people don't like the early stuff. They prefer the older. And, um, you know, I don't know, maybe they're better. I don't have a lot of experience with these stories. But... Um, I don't know. I've been enjoying them. They're kind of campy, kind of goofy, but um, a lot of fun. I enjoy the art. I feel like uh, when I sit down to, you know, read through one, um, it's almost like tra time traveling. I get the feeling that, <laughs> you know, I could, you know, I'm going to look out the window and I don't know. My street's going to be a gravel road and times will be simpler and whatever but um yeah it's cool stuff um so please check out the indiegogo link at the top of my page let me grab my book here <clears throat> this is it for winterland um it's the story of a couple animal control officers from uh, that you know encounter some pretty bizarre happenings in their small town and um yeah so I, this was published when did i publish this Tw early yeah first printing october 2021 so i've been working on this book you know like see for took me about it i don't know maybe a year to put this together but um i'm about three issues in now so i've been working on it for a while and um I probably, probably should have started this crowdfunding thing earlier, so I'm a little late to the party. But uh, please, you know, check it out. Just so you know, I mean, I do have, I've got lots of pages done. So um, I think uh, this, you know, you don't have to worry about this, this crowdfunder not, not fulfilling. I'll be there with something at the end. So, yeah, anyway, take care. Peace. Later.